Do you wear wigs? No, I do not. Have you worn wigs? No, I have not. You are a beautiful man. A beautiful man. Will you wear wigs? Uh, maybe. When will you wear wigs? <laughs> Mr. Wood? I can show the most unique fursuits I've seen. This is a goldfish. They're so cute. This is a friend of mine. Their name is Stellar. They're a mano kit based on a jazz cup. It's hilarious and amazing. Oh my god, okay. I have a soft spot for insect suits. That was a moth, I believe. Dogs are not unusual, but to have a dog done in this style, this breed is very unusual. Again, cats, not very strange. But it's got three eyes. It's like an alien cat or something. I think it's really cute. And then like, woo, lots of colors. Again, big soft spot for the insect suits. They're really cute. And Bash the Pinata was on my previous list, but honestly, they belong here too. Don't see too many dinosaur suits. Or, co I mean roosters. I do love a good bird suit. And the really realistic, like, werewolf looking things. This is either an Okapi or an alien. This list would not be complete without Gizmo and Gadget. I believe this is a Cicada. <laughs> I love how bouncy it is. Don't see too many insects. And the Furby. There's 15 of the most unique fursuits that I saw at Midwest Fur Fest. One was from Willy's Wonderland, the Nicolas Cage this movie. looks like a spider. It's really cute. These two were wearing lab coats. God, I love that salamander-looking mask. This really realistic-looking muscular dog suit. Very cool. Number five, Star Cry the Cat has permanent tears in her eyes. Stars, too. The mascot-style costume is pretty rare at furry conventions. Oh, my God. I love these two so much. They're so cute. This is Zipner, a sugar glider. I got the paws. I'm a huge sucker for the strawberry lemonade color scheme. Just look at the gorgeous pastel colors and the dress. Another animal you don't see that often, a leopard suit. Seal. Oh wow, the colors in this fursuit are incredible. People always ask me if I've ever seen a frog. Yes. I have never seen anime fursuits before. Now I have. I love the material these dragons used for their wings. It's really creative. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the fursuits. I have thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt. When they call I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt. Hello, and I hope you're well. Today I'm going to be doing a suit up and assembly for this fursuit commission that I did. This character has several parts that zip off of the body for both easier transport, easier cleaning, and so that the client can actually partial with it. The arms zip onto the body and the wings slide through two little holes that are in the back of the torso, as well as the tail having this part that it zips onto the bum directly, and then there's this nice little sleeve that pulls over top of it and hides the seam. The feet also zip onto the body. Each one is marked for left and right accordingly. And once they are all zipped onto this body, you can see that it's perfectly ready to go. It's kind of neat seeing it all together like that, isn't it? And now we get ready to actually put the thing on. But you know what? You can't just put a fursuit on with normal human clothes. You need to go into your Under Armour. 
protect that inside from the sweat, and keep it clean and smelling fresh. Once you put it on, it's basically like putting on a pair of pants. Slip into the shoes inside, put the arm straps for the wings over your shoulders, arms through the armholes, zip up the center, and then just put on the paws, same as you'd put on any kind of gloves. I personally prefer to do the head first and then the hands so that I can be able to adjust anything if needed. Putting on my non-dominant hand first and then using my dominant hand and the other to kind of snug the other one on. It's a little bit tricky sometimes, but once you get the hang of it, ta-da! There it is! Look at that beautiful fluffy suit! This character's name is Bean, and they were done for Cottage Duchy, whom I will tag below this video. This character was a lot of fun to make, and I tried a lot of new things with their build to try and push my abilities as an artist even further than they already are. I'm really proud of the overall shape of the digi, the cleanness of the feet, as well as that absolutely incredible head. This is honestly the best head I've ever made, and I couldn't be happier. I hope Bean loves their new home and makes lots of fantastic memories with all their new friends over in the Czech Republic. Gonna be super duper fun! Thank you so much for sitting through this awesome little two minute video. Doodles! I have been covered in baby oil. <sighs> well, I guess racism wins. Can we see the picture? I'm about to tell my boyfriend I'm a furry, so we're gonna see his reaction. Hey! <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's a fursuit! A fursuit? What the hell's a fursuit? A furry? Yeah. Cosplay? You have friends that have these, right? You're just... No, these are mine. And you're just now telling me? Yeah. I thought you wouldn't care. I wouldn't care? Have you seen the shit that they say about furries on the internet? No. You're an animal? You think you're an animal, really? No. You think you're a fucking dog? No. We live together. Do you know what my friends are gonna say? Do you know what my family's gonna Who say? Cares? Who cares? You think you're a dog? That, that's what the big litter box is for, huh? No! Oh my fucking... What? You're joking, right? It's, it's before, not, I, before I say... It's just more, a costume! Oh, uh, okay, just a fucking... It's, just a costume, okay. It's just a costume. Whatever. How much? Secret. Why? Just guess. Is it six hundred dollars? Jail. Where you get your grills from? I got them from uh, Johnny Dang. You lying? Yeah. <laughs> Where you really get them from? I got them from my jeweler. <laughs> That's not the worm. Pardon? That's not the worm. That's his tongue. Oh. This is the tongue. And the whole thing is the worm. Run for your life! <laughs> There was a very hungry, genetically modified caterpillar. Seven nuclear missiles. Take me long to realize something that never occurred to me before. Actually, no one ever really talks about this, but... Cash or charge? Being gay is really expensive. Every fur is nightmare. I was unboxing the head. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a little plushy. She don't love you no more. Now come on! I love being me. It pisses off all the right people.
All right, I get it. Fine. You're all without fathers, all right? I, I'm I, not. I love my dad. Now somebody, anybody, everybody scream! Wipe me. Prick. Watch where you walking, bitch! What did you... Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm white! <laughs>